Today I'm checking out this battery tester here. This is the BST600. So this is a battery tester or a battery system tester, honestly. And it has a built-in printer, which is really cool because then it can print out, you know, sheets of paper from a roller to save what you have there. So like if you have a little automotive shop or something and you're wanting to test batteries and be able to print that out for the customer, this thing will let you do it. Now I was sent this at no cost so we can do the review. Let's get this thing out of the box so we can see what it comes with. So this is what you're gonna get out of the box. It comes with the operating manual. It comes with the actual load tester, the battery system tester itself. And it comes with some sample amount of paper that you can put in there that I've got it put in right now. So that way we can do some prints and some tests. So the unit here has got some nice alligator clips here and some nice hardy wiring here. So these do not come off. They're part of the unit. So you can't just like take the wires off. It has three arrows here, left, right, up, and then like the enter button. And it'll do 12 to 24 volt battery system. So it's got that. It's got a little battery here, probably to keep some memory functions. And it's also showing you some reference for engine displacement and how much cold cranking amps that those engine sizes are going to need. And it also shows you basically what you're looking at here. Activation voltage as low as 10.7, I think that is, all the way down to less than 9.6. Let's go ahead and get this thing on some batteries and test it out. So to test out the battery function of this battery tester, I'm going to use it against these lead acid batteries here. So when you hook the battery tester up, before you actually get it connected to the battery, you're going to see it's not powered on. That's because it uses the power from the battery to actually, you know, run and function. It does have a small battery back here in the back that is changeable, but that one's just more for like memory functions, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and power this thing on. It is starting up. It's detected it's a 12 volt battery and we're going to go ahead and start it. As you can see here, there's date and times that can be set, all of that. And again, that will be stored using that battery that it has, but I haven't went in there and set any of that. But I'm going to go ahead and pick 12 volt battery. I'm going to just do a battery capacity test. So this is just a regular, you know, wet battery. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. Cold cranking on this is 675. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. You use these arrows here to increase, you know, what it is, 675. I'm going to hit OK. It is testing. So it did a test and it got 800 cold cranking amps out of it. It's got a charge right now of 12.94. Internal resistance is 3.49 milliohms, and the fact that it's rated at 675 cold cranking amps gives it a great on the capacity. Everything looks good here, and I knew this battery was good, so that's why I was wanting to test it and start the test with that. Now this is a little bit reflective, so I'm not sure how great that's coming out on the camera, but this has a very reflective uh, front screen on it. That's not the protective cover. That's actually the screen. So I'm going to go back to um, just pressing this OK button. It's asking me, do I want to print the report? Now, I'm going to say no because I don't want to print it. I know that's a good battery. I don't need the report on it. So I'm going to go to no and then go back to here and that saves paper. Now, if I'd have chose yes, of course, it would print out the thermal receipt type paper coming out. But I'm going to do that on one of these bad batteries. This also has other features. So it's not just a battery per se tester. It's also a cranking test and you can get a charge system test. So this is a full electrical battery system tester as it states right here. Those are the three main tests you would be doing for your vehicle. So on to the next battery test. And when I unhook this, you're gonna see it turns off because again, it is using the battery to power this. That's actually very common with these type of testers. So now I'm going to test this on a smaller AGM battery. The label is missing. This does have reverse polarity also on it. So it'll let you know if you hooked it up wrong. Again, it recognized it's a 12 volt system. It's showing right now it's at about 12.8 volts. And that's correct because that's a charged battery. 
I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna go to battery testing again. I know it's got 220 cold cranking amps. And it remembers the last setting that you have in here. If you hold it, it will drop down. So this is supposed to be a 220 cold cranking amps battery. So I'm gonna hit OK. It's testing it came back with 231 cold cranking amps a charge of 12.73 which is just a little bit under full charge 93 percent charge it says it's 100 percent healthy because it did meet its rated 220 cold cranking amps and it does have an internal resistance of 12.11 milliohms so again battery's great don't want to print a report and i hit okay now on to a battery that i really don't know the status of it which is this battery i charged it last night and i don't have a clue if this is a good battery or not it is starting up and it's at least holding a halfway decent charge it's got 2.71 volts i do not know the cold cranking on that so i'm going to guess it's about 200. it is a regular flooded battery i'm going to hit okay i'm going to choose now you can choose cranking amps din these are all different specs. All of that's in the manual. I always test using the cold cranking amps. And I'm gonna leave it at 220 because I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's around that. We're gonna test it. That one's coming back with 107 cold cranking amps, 12.67 uh, volts, so it is slowly dropping volts, and its resistance is 26.04 milliohms that's actually pretty bad so this battery it suggests to replace you might be able to get a crank or two out of it but it's not a healthy battery so i am now going to move over to the next battery and in this next battery i'm pretty positive that it has less than four volts of power and that's important because since this runs off the battery and that's how it's powered it does state in the in the manual i think less than five volts it will not boot up or, or start so the fact that it has less than its minimum voltage requirements it's not even going to turn on and i did charge this battery up last night it didn't take a charge again it's just a junk battery it goes to show you right here you can't do anything with that battery that's it and then we have this other one here i know this one's a good battery we'll go ahead and test it too it's starting up this one has 750 marine cranking amps on it so i'm going to see if marine cranking amps are even an option it is a regular flooded battery does have different types of inputs that you can select so we're going to do mca and again it said it was 750. i'm going to click and hold it so it'll go up to 750 and then we're going to hit okay now it's testing it comes back with 800 marine cranking amps out of uh, the 750 that it's rated. It's 100% healthy and 100% charged. It's coming back with great, as you can see right there. So yeah, so far testing batteries, this thing is great. It gives me everything that I need to know. Well, and one thing I forgot to do was test the printer. So I'm gonna test the printer. And again, it came back not healthy. So I'm going to it's suggesting to replace, so I'm going to hit OK, and then we're going to do print. Yes, it is printing us our test receipt, and it's nice and clear. It comes back really nice. That's a that's a nice uh, receipt there. If you had like a little auto shop or something, or even if you just, you know, wanted to keep track of what you had, that's a really nice clean print that it gives. All right, so I've got the hood of my wife's SUV popped open, and we're going to put this uh, battery tester, or battery system tester, on her vehicle here to get a good cranking test and then get a charging test done on her car just to make sure you know everything's looking good and show you how this works now i am in the garage so i'm not out in the sun and you're going to see the huge difference it comes down to when it comes to this screen when i hook it up so first i'm going to put this on all right so it's saying it doesn't have a good connection that's really good and that's because it's barely biting on there. So now if I put this on here in a better connection, there you go, it's going to boot up fine. So that's cool that it will actually tell you that. It also will tell you if you have your black and your red switched. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK for the 12 volt. We're going to go to the cranking test and then we're going to hit OK. 
So it's going to tell you, make sure engine and all loads are in off status, which it is. There's no headlights on or nothing running in the car and the engine's off. So I'm going to press enter. Now it's telling me to go start the engine. Okay, now you can see it says cranking is low for her car. Basically what it's showing here is that the engine went to crank. It actually took a decent amount of time. This should probably be under a thousand when it comes to cranking. And the voltage dipped all the way to 8.19 volts on her battery when we did the crank. So that's telling me that her battery itself is really getting low on cranking amps and I probably need to do a test on her battery. But let's go ahead and back out of this and I'm gonna see about the charging test. So I'm gonna hit okay. You can also print a report on this. You know what, I'm just gonna hit yes. I'm not gonna worry about putting in the VIN. That just lets you know where you printed this from. And there's the cranking test. As you can see, it's a really nice printout. I really like this feature of this. And like I was saying before, we're not in the sun, we're in the garage. Uh, there's no direct sunlight and this screen is beautiful. And it does read really well outside also, but you have to keep an eye on the angle because if you're at the right angles, the sun just reflects off of this pretty easy. So just wanted to add that, that you can read it really well, but if it wasn't showing well in the camera, that's just because the sun was really at an angle that was messing with it. So now I'm gonna move over to the charging system test. We're gonna hit enter and then it says, turn on all loads and speed the engine up to 2000 to 25 RPM, then press enter. So I'm gonna go turn everything on. It actually has the headlights and everything on. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe put the radio on in her car, turn on the air conditioner, and then we're going to speed it up and compress enter. So we got the RPMs up on this. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so we turned off the air conditioner and the lights and everything, and we're gonna now rev it up again to 2,500 to 3,500 RPM and do the test. All right, so now we're sped it up. All right, so it's got done with the charging test. It shows everything's good. This is basically letting us know that our alternator's charging well. All the wiring and connections are coming out well. It, the ripple test went through fine. It's load and unload were very close to each other. So it's putting out exactly what it needs to be doing. So you've got a good test. So everything's good on her car, but I do need to test the battery on that again. So that is the three main tests that this has. It seems like a really nice, uh, charging system tester, battery tester, everything all in one. Very happy to have this. I definitely think if this is something you're looking for where you can do these tests, this is a very handy tool to have to do that. It has all the features. It's very easy to use. Big buttons so you can do this with gloves. Looks like it can handle being in a toolbox. Pretty sturdy little device. So yeah, overall, I give this definitely two thumbs up. It's a nice system. I really like it. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.